so how does this look we really don't care anymore because we already put it on my hair needs more volume okay this is Cara Delevingne by the way I don't know why do I have this but I really like people's faces on my t-shirts and on my sweaters are people like that a lot I don't know I really like that because like I'm not a Cara Delevingne fan but like I just saw this and I thought it was cool so yeah whatever okay so today the series that i want to talk about is disney plus's new series which is a marvel series isn't it amazing wandavision yes we're gonna talk about wandavision and this video is absolutely gonna be full of spoilers i can talk about wandavision spoiler free like that's not possible and it was only eight episodes so like go and watch the eight episodes it was like uh 20 minutes top each episode so like yeah it really wouldn't take much of your time and then come and watch this video yes so uh, what i love about the series is obviously the story i really like this two marvel superheroes uh wanda and vision as you all know they were lovers in the avengers and uh they were just such miserable lovers they never had the chance to be together like uh, wanda sadly always had to um kill vision or like let thanos kill vision or like uh, kill him herself again and it was just a very sad and tragic story all the time so um, when I watched, uh, when I like uh, came upon this series, I was so happy because I was like, wow, yes, finally, these two are gonna be together, they're gonna be happy, it's gonna be romantic, yes, I want that, they both look so, um, they're such good looking people, like Wanda, gorgeous red hair girl, and Vision, he's so tall, and yeah, I just love the actors, and... <laughs> Um, here's the thing, the first three episodes, you're really happy, and because they're all fun and games, and they're together, and they're happy, and uh, they're living this life, and you've got no idea what's happening, because you're like, <clears throat> did they time travel or something, or is this a dream, or is this a um, parallel universe, which Wanda and Vision uh, can finally be together, and be just happy, in the old times because the series starts in like 1930s and then with each episode uh, or during each episode we go uh, further in the future like 1940s 1950s 1960s and the, as time goes on 1990s and 2000s so yeah basically it starts off very cute and very lovey-dovey and i was so happy i was like yes finally wanda and vision are together they're in love they're happy and uh, honestly that's all i want and um and a lot of people didn't like the first three episodes because they thought that this was gonna be all of it uh, i mean what were you thinking you're watching a marvel series I mean, of course, it's on Disney, but it's a Marvel series, and it's gonna go that way. It's gonna have that Marvel essence coming soon. But a lot of people uh, judged the series too soon, and they really didn't like the first three episodes uh, because they were like, what's happening? It's just so stupid, which I did not. I, I just thought it was very cute, and I really liked it. But, um, uh, I guess on the fourth episode, yes, on the fourth episode, and the real deal begins, and the real story begins, and we realize that what is happening, and honestly, it was so heartbreaking, like, I would have rather watched the uh, one than Vision in that universe, because then the real story hit, and basically, it was so sad, so... If you have watched the Avengers Endgame, which uh, I'm sure everyone had <laughs> till this point, if you haven't, uh, then again, don't watch this video. Go and watch Avengers Endgame. Oh, by the way, you must watch Avengers Endgame and then watch WandaVision because you wouldn't realize what's happening. 
<clears throat> but if you haven't Avengers Endgame, I guess everyone by now knows uh, what happens in Avengers Endgame. So like, yeah, whatever. So in Avengers Endgame, the spoilers start here. I gave you time to run away. Okay, spoilers. Let's go. Uh, the Avengers Endgame basically uh, ends as um, uh, I mean, uh, Wanda has to kill Vision to uh, get the that yellow stone out of his forehead because uh, that was one of the stones that uh, Thanos used to do this and <laughs> yeah destroy people and uh, make people disappear or whatever and yeah Wanda had to see Vision die twice and if that wasn't enough for someone being traumatized as hell it was enough uh, so basically Wanda got so depressed and she was so traumatized and it shows in the series that uh, <clears throat> during the fifth or sixth episode I guess that Wanda was so sad and uh, she went to this laboratory thing and saw Vision and saw people working on him and they were just trying to uh, bring back this <clears throat> robot form of his body like of course it was he was dead they couldn't bring him back to life but they were trying to use his body to bring him back somehow and obviously that is terrible to see your lover like that so Wanda got very sad and uh, she disapproved of it but then again, she said goodbye to Vision and left. And this was all so much for her that she decided she should make a new world completely for themselves. And that's what happens. She stole Vision's body and um, basically um, this town called Westview, um, she decided to uh, make it their own little world. So basically that's what we see during the first three episodes of the series. Uh, their new little world together, their new life together. Vision is alive, they've got lovely neighbors and they're living in this lovely town and nothing bad is going on and they're in love and they're just having fun and being quirky and cheesy and stuff. But that doesn't last long. Um, the government basically realizes what is happening. There's this area that uh, they can't pass. And um, yeah, they realize what is happening. They realize that Wanda has uh, captured a lot of people because this town, as I said, they're living in a town. They're living in a literal town called Westview which in Wanda's version, in Wanda's world, it's called Eastview. And um, basically people are captured there. They're forced to, I mean mentally, they're forced to live this life and um, yeah, just act. They're actors. So the government obviously decides that this is <laughs> not the best plan. This is like not a superhero move. This is not what a superhero does. And they want to stop Wanda. And um, yeah, the story goes on and uh, some other stuff happens and uh, we realize there's a witch actually there and um, uh, fun stuff happens. So towards the end of the series, Wanda and Vision have two sons. They've got children, which I was so happy for them. And, and they were adorable and they had powers. But since they're living in this basically fake world and there's Wanda with her powers, there's this other witch with her powers, uh, you, somehow you can't realize if th these children are real or are they just actors like uh, the rest of the people in uh, Eastview and um, it's in their program, it's in their mind to have powers. But as we watch towards the end of the series, a lot of interesting stuff happens. One thing about Vision I'm not gonna spoil because I think uh, it's so good and it made me happy that that happened. Uh, we still got Vision. Vision is not completely dead. I, I hope. I spoiled it again. I said I'm not gonna spoil it, but I spoiled it again. So yeah, there's that. And um, 
during watching the series i was sure that the boys are real i don't know why but i was sure that the boys are real and they're actually uh wanda and vision's um sons uh two twins uh, i mean one pair of twins yes one pair of twins boys and uh that's what turned out to happen because as uh, the stuff cooled down and basically wanda took uh this spell out of the town and the people got freed and uh, yeah everything got back to normal uh, we saw Wanda uh, trying to um, basically studying her powers and trying to realize what's happening with her and trying to control her powers and um, during this time she heard a voice and it was their son's voice it was their boy's voices and um so basically that proves that the boys were really wanda and vision's sons which i don't know how did that happen <laughs> because if you watch the series it's uh, yeah everything happens so fast that's all i can say but it's a very interesting twist and now we've got new superheroes in the marvel world which i love and yeah cool stuff but as i said their boys have got powers and um of course wanda's brother comes to town too but later we realize that the witch actually um hypnotized one of the one of uh, one of the people just like the other people that uh, Wanda had hypnotized in this town and his powers his whole thing is actually fake and it's why um, the um, his brother doesn't look like his brother doesn't look like the brother that we have seen in Avengers and um, yeah which that was I didn't get that because he had powers and um but at the end we realized that he actually didn't have powers he was just a normal guy but the boys uh, wanda and visions boys they actually got powers and their powers stayed and they were real which is like him which is when you watch the series you would get better what i'm talking about it was kind of a plot hole to me or not so much a plot hole i think they left it like that on purpose because uh wandavision obviously has a season two and uh, perhaps we might get us um we might get an episode 10 as a surprise so who knows what happens and yes that is wandavision i really enjoyed watching this series i think um um, the first three episodes were really just smart and genius because they were closer to the uh, Marvel comics actually and that was really cool and fun and then uh, it, uh, it got us back to the whole Marvel world and their story and what was happening so all in all it was really good and I really liked it and I can't wait for season two. Uh, tell me your thoughts and opinions on WandaVision. I guess a lot of people have actually liked it. Like, as I said, a lot of people didn't like the first three episodes. But but as you keep watching, you realize what's happening. And it's Marvel. And uh, it's a good Marvel. Because I don't like some of the Marvel movies. Like, no, Wonder Woman is DC. Oh my god, the new Wonder Woman is so bad. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> so yeah um but yeah marvel has some bad stuff mar does marvel have some bad stuff i don't know i like Doctor strange i love iron man i like thor which is weird i should like thor better much more than that so yeah i guess but i can wait for uh season two and please uh comment down below what did you think of wandavision did you like it have you watched it and yeah just let's sip something and uh, talk about wandavision and thank you for watching this thank you wow i'm i can't talk anymore <laughs> thank you for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and yeah have a great day have a great night bye bye